I'm Noreen and welcome to this week's episode of Noreen's Garden. Um, it's still very gloomy and rainy and nasty and sticky and gross outside and we've been picking a couple of times but pretty much the garden is at the you know in the end of summer disarray. It looks really gross and I'm hoping to get out there and do some planting but in the meantime I wanted to share with you today how we can process some zucchini and freeze it without having to blanch it. So let's see how we do that. Hey, this year I did not, as many of you know, grow zucchini in my garden, but my neighbor did. And you know that this time of year, a lot of places a lot of people are experiencing gluts of uh, zucchini and yellow squash coming out of their garden and that can always be a nice thing until you have so much that you know you don't have any room for it you've canned it you've frozen it you've done everything and you've done everything aside from um, abandoning baskets full on your neighbor's front porch and running away quickly so they don't find out who left it ding dong ditch <laughs> exactly ding dong ditch well, um, I'm always happy to receive something that I haven't been able to grow myself this year, and zucchini is one of those things. So I do have some zucchini that we're going to process today. Um, we like to eat it fresh. I like to steam it and just eat it that way. But I also like to use zucchini in zucchini cake, which is a chocolate cake, and zucchini bread, of course, which is a quick bread. Um, but in order to save it for later, we have to process it. And if you um, want to use this later uh, and freeze it in slices. That's a whole other process. You're going to have to blanch that. Today we're going to focus on how we can freeze it without blanching it. And what we have to do is we have to top and tail our zucchini and that just means to cut the top and the bottom off of it. Just like that. And then we're going to get our box grater and we're going to grate it. If you have a massive amount of zucchini, you can do this in your food processor. I personally don't like doing it in the food processor. Um, for one thing, it doesn't take that long to grate the zucchini, and secondly, I feel like the food processor can sometimes over process the zucchini and that's never a good thing. So here's what we have from that one zucchini and we'll go ahead and we'll measure. Um, find out what your recipe takes. Generally my zucchini bread and my zucchini cake take about two cups of zucchini. So we're probably going to need about two zucchinis worth. But um, I just like to put in this little sandwich bags or you can get quart size freezer bags whichever is um, more convenient for you probably about a cup there. Now sometimes you're going to get those jumbo zucchinis which are really good for um, baking with because they don't, uh, they tend to be a little more fibrous um, and not so pleasant for like roasting or just sauteing out of, you know, in a pan. So that's what we would do. You can mark this zucchini and date it so that you know how long it's been in the freezer. You just pop this in the freezer and um, let it do its thing. And the next time that you want to make zucchini cake or zucchini bread or muffins or something like that, you can just reach in there, grab one of these, set it on the counter, and let it thaw out and then make it. And it's going to be perfect. It's going to be delicious. It's not going to mess up your recipe at all. This is a really easy way to process zucchini without having to blanch it if you're in a hurry. You know, sometimes we just don't have the time to go ahead and blanch it because it's, you know, it's a process and I get it. We don't all have that time. But also, I wanted to mention, maybe you don't have a neighbor who grew a lot of zucchini and maybe you didn't grow a lot of zucchini. 
Maybe you went to the grocery store and you found a bunch of zucchini on the produce markdown rack. That was just too good to pass up. It was still in really good shape and you knew that you would use it later. Well, you might not be able to use 10 pounds of zucchini all at once, but if you process it like this, you'll be able to use it and enjoy it later. And you can leave this in the freezer for up to a year and it's going to be delicious and fresh. That's how you process zucchini without having to blanch it for cakes and muffins and zucchini bread. So I hope that you try this and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.